மதுரை சண்முகவடிவு சுப்புலட்சுமி சிக்ஸ்டீன் செப்டம்பர் நைன்டீன் சிக்ஸ்டீன் லெவன்த் டிசம்பர் டூ தௌசண்ட் ஃபோர் ஆல்சோ நோன் ஆஸ் எம் எஸ் சுப்புலட்சுமி வாஸ் அ கர்நாடிக் வோக்கலிஸ்ட் ஷி வாஸ் அ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் மியூசிஷியன் எவர் டு பி அவார்ட் த பாரத் ரத்னா இந்தியாஸ் ஹையஸ்ட் சிவில் இன் ஆனர் ஷி இஸ் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இந்தியன் மியூசிஷியன் டு ரிசீவ் த ராமன் மேக்சிஸ் அவார்ட் often considered Asia's Nobel Prize in 1974 with a citation reading Exacting Purists acknowledge Srimadhi M. S. Subalakshmi as the leading exponent of classical and semi-classical songs in the Karnatic tradition of South India. Early years, Subalakshmi, Kunjana to her family, was born in Madurai, Madras Presidency, India, to Veena player Shanmuga Vadiva Amal and Subramanya Iyer. Her grandmother, Akka Amal, was a violinist. She started learning Carnatic music at an early age and trained in Carnatic music under the tutelage of Sri Samangadi Srinivas Iyer and subsequently in Hindustani music under Pandit Narayana Rao Vyas. Her mother, from the Devadasi community, was a music exponent and a regular stage performer and Subalakshmi grew up in an environment very conducive to music learning. Her musical interests were also shaped by regular interactions with Karakudi Samba Shivaiya, Maravarai Anandhal Subharai Bhagavadar and Ariyakudi Ramana Jayangar. Subalakshmi gave her first public performance at the age of 11 in the year 1927 in the 100 pillar hall inside the Rockford Temple, Trichinapalli. with Mysore Chaudhaya on the violin and Dakshinamur Tipulai on the Murdangam. This was organized by the Trichinapalli-based Indian National Congress leader F.T. Nadeshaya. In 1936, Subalakshmi moved to Madras, Chennai. Emma Subalakshmi began a Carnatic classic music training under her mother Shanmuga Vadiva and later in Hindustani classical training under Pandit Narayana Rao Vyas. Subalakshmi first recording was released when she was 10 years old subalakshmi gave a first performance at the prestigious madras music academy in 1929 when she was 13 years old the performance consisted of singing bhajans hindu hymns the academy was known for its discriminating selection process and they broke tradition by inviting a young girl as a key performer her performance was described by a spellbinding and earned her many admirers by the age of 17 Subalakshmi was giving concerts on her own including major performances at the Madras Music Academy. She traveled to London, New York, Canada, the Far East and other places as India's cultural ambassador. Her concerts at Edinburgh International Festival of Music and Drama in 1963, Festival of India in Moscow in 1987 were significant landmarks in her career. In 1969 She was accompanied by Indian Railways Advisor S. N. Venkata Rao to Rameshwaram where she famously sang several songs in front of each idol in the Rameshwaram temple. After the death of her husband, Kalki Sadashivam in 1997, she stopped all the public performances. Awards and Honours Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru had this to say about M. S. Subalakshmi. Who am I? a mere prime minister before a queen a queen of music while lata mangeshkar called her tapaswini the renunciate ustad bade gulam ali khan tamed her suswara lakshmi the goddess of the perfect note and kishu ramolkar labeled her the ultimate eighth note or atma sur which is about the seven notes basic to all music the great national leader and poet Sarojini Naidu called her Nightingale of India. Her many famous renditions of bhajans including the chanting of Bhajagovindam, Vishnu Sahasranama, Thousand Names of Vishnu, Hari Tuna Haro and the Venkateshwara Suprabhadam, musical hymns to awaken Lord Balaji early in the morning. She was widely honored, praised and awarded. Some of the popular ones include Batma Bhushan in 1954, Sangeet Nataka Academy Award in 1956, Sangeet Kalanidhi in 1968, Raman Maxese Award often considered Asia's Nobel Prize in 1974, Batma Vibhushan in 1975, Sangeet Kala Sikamani in 1975 by the Indian Fine Arts Society Chennai, Kalidas Saman in 1988, 
Indira Gandhi Award for National Integration in 1990, Bharat Ratna in 1998. She was honored as a resident artist, Asthana Vidwan of Tirumala Tirupati Devasthanams, Tirupati Urban Development Authority had installed a bronze statue of Ms. Subalakshmi at the Purnakundam Circle in the Temple Town. It was unveiled by Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Vyas Rajasekhar Reddy on 28 May 2006. The Kanjivaram Sari shaded known as MS Blue was named after her by the well-known Congress Party member and philanthropist Sri Muthu Chetiyar when they met at the resident of Sri R. Ayyadurai and Srimadi Thangam Ayyadurai at Lady Desikachari Road Madras who were close friends of MS and Sadashiva. A commemorative postage stamp on her was issued on 18th December 2005. United Nations decided to issue stamp to mark birth centenary of MS Subalakshmi. She was bestowed with enormous prize monies with these awards, most of which she donated to charity. She has given more than 200 charity concerts and raised well over a million. She was awarded honorary degrees from several universities. She was an ardent devotee of Kanchi Mahaswamigal and she rendered his composition Maitri Bajata, O World, Cultivate Peace in a concert at the UN in 1966. She made a 20-minute recording of Venkatesha Suprabhadam for HMV, the royalty from which goes to the Veda Patashala run by the Tirumala Tirupati Devasthan. She donated many of the royalties and several best sold records to many charity organizations. It would be difficult to overstate the talent and the impact made by Srimadhi Amas Subalakshmi, not just in the field of Carnatic music, but also as a philanthropist and a person who placed her life in the service of the country and its people. She was both much larger than life and utterly human in her interaction with others. Amas Subalakshmi, the legend. Nightingale of India.